am Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. I was not prepared for that slightly abrupt uh, cessation of the theme song. Welcome to Mega Man 2. Hey, yeah. It's the Game Grumps of uh, Mega Man 2. That's the one. So, do you want to play... Actually, difficult is actually normal in Japan. It's what well, it's up to you, man. You're gonna you're gonna take point on this one. I think I might. <sighs> what is normal? The difficult in Japan? Like they're just fucking with us? <laughs> no, no. Normal <laughs> is easy mode for Americans. Oh, uh, okay. Because do they think we're Japan, just not up to their standards? Yeah. What the? They they make fun of us in Japan. You, you better fucking do yeah. this for America, Aaron. Are we doing difficult? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. Yes. All right. I I don't remember when I played it last time. I don't remember what it was that I played. Oh man. Oh, shit, I forgot who I'm supposed to start on. Uh, let's go Bubble Man. Bubble Man. He, he sounds the least intimidating <laughs> yeah. by the name of. Uh, yeah. Prepare think, for my bubbles. I think there's a way you can, like, skip the. Uh, oh god! Uh, oh. <laughs> my eyes! Immediate seizure! <laughs> oh. How is this okay? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Wow. Tiny ass Oof. frogs. I would like to know what hallucinogenic drug they were on when they decided this background would be a, a solid idea. <laughs> um, I've all. got it. <laughs> <laughs> they just walk in all like... <laughs> I'll draw the world's most complicated square of water falling and then tile it across the entire screen. <laughs> the entire screen. Oh my Not God. even fucking like, eh, maybe this is one little window or nope. something. Nope. <laughs> I just want to note uh, that I'm... It's been a long- it's been a while. Uh, since you played Mega Man? Yeah, the last time I played Mega Man was when I was recording footage for the sequelitis. Wow. So. But you are on record as saying that the Mega Man games are your favorite games, yeah? Mega Man X is my favorite game. Oh, of all time? Mega Man classic games I don't think are even on my top ten. Whoa! Cool. Glad we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I love- I love Mega Man classic. Okay. I, I just think there there have been so many like superior games. There's since. been major strides yeah. in Mega Man technology since then. <laughs> well, just in normal technology. Look at this in, like, shrimp. Normal game design technology. That's true. You know Ross calls shrimp prawns. Oh yeah. Prawns, prawns, <laughs> fucking prawn. <laughs> God, he sounds so stupid. Yeah, what a dumb Aussie. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna respect this place. What a yeah. dumb Aussie. Aussie. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I think when you're insulting uh, a nation of people, you can't pronounce their names the way that they want it pronounced. Yeah, because I remember you used to make fun of me, like, yeah, Aussie! It's Aussie! It's Aussie! And I'm like, oh, sorry, but now it's like, yeah. go fuck yourself. Sorry, I was too busy thinking about how delicious these <laughs> shrimp are. Shrimp. <laughs> and I'm gonna light my flashlights. <laughs> what do they call flashlights? Uh, well, I know British is torch. I guess I just assume because they sound... They both sound similarly stupid. The br <laughs> British, like, I love the British people, but they have some unnecessarily adorable names for everything. The Lou. The Lou! Yeah. The Lou! I believe a chair is a Mundy Fumple? <laughs> no, I think I, I might have made that up. No, no, it's, it's a flaxer jab. It's a fl <laughs> I enjoy taking a trip to the Schwinkle Box. Every, every trip to England is a trip to Dr. Seuss Land in Universal Studios. <laughs> That's so it's just a, could I, uh, could you, could you... Uh, Bring me to the nearest drugstore. I need some Tylenol. What? <laughs> you say you need some Brooklyn? <laughs> oh, dude, I can't remember if I talked with Ross about this, but apparently uh, I was in Scotland and they have the fucking. Do you know what they call like cough medicine over there? Mm -mm. Uh, it's medicine for chesty coughs. Chesty coughs. Chesty coughs. How fucking adorable. <laughs> Look out. He's armed with bubbles. <laughs> no! No! If I approach them, maybe I'll breathe longer underwater. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nightmare of oxygen. <laughs> ah! Oh shit! You yeah, were right. I'm terrible. <laughs> Those bubbles are actually made out of lead. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking who knew? Hazardous to the health of a human. God, could you imagine if you were underwater and bubbles were immediately fatal as you touched them? Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, it would totally suck. That would make the fucking... <laughs> also, the water is immediately fatal. <laughs> I mean... I, <laughs> I don't know what, like, imaginary world you live in where yeah. it's like, Ah, 20 minutes underwater, I'm fine, but... Yeah. Oh no! A bubble! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> uh, this was not in my contingency plan for maskless scuba diving. <laughs> Oh boy. Dude, he is a fucking tough first enemy. Yeah, well, 
I mean, as long as my health is lower than <laughs> higher than his health, I yeah. think that's like the the Mega Man fucking rock paper scissors game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just like as long as I'm above him. Yeah. In a continuous string of pattern. You don't need to beat his ass. You just need to yeah stay above the Mendoza line as they call it in sports. <laughs> is it called the Mendoza? Yeah, line? Yeah, I don't exactly know why. I think there was this baseball player like with the last name Mendoza, and he was like the most perfectly average player of all time. So, so like if you're better than his statistics, you're above the Mendoza line. <laughs> which means you don't quite suck! <laughs> the most perfectly average. <laughs> it's so funny that he's so fucking, like his grandchildren, they're like, Daddy, Daddy! I heard somebody use your name in baseball statistics, and it's like, That's well, right. Are you famous? Like, yes I am. For being the most unbelievably mediocre player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your life with that knowledge. <laughs> Our family name has become synonymous with mediocrity across the country. <laughs> it's, uh, okay, so Heat Man, mm -hmm. can you tell me what he's all about? Uh, he's a Zippo lighter. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh motherfucker! Oh wow, that lava is unforgiving. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even, like, take time to melt. It's just so hot you explode. <laughs> <laughs> the electrons in your body can't Shit. fucking take it. It's like the stuff that melted Terminator 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, but you don't even have time for a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I hope... It, it, should I ever die in uh, non-natural causes, I hope I have time to give, like, a, a big thumbs up to, to people before I go. Oh, that reminds me, actually. <laughs> I also hope you have the peace of mind to do that and not go, ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Like I'm being devoured by sharks. <laughs> yeah. Like you're just the thumb. Yeah. Gotta get the thumbs up to let people know I'm kind of okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one's easy. And then jump. And oh, yeah. Here, and then I can probably, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So what were you saying earlier? Uh, something about dying with sharks. It's not important. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, you were like, uh, also, I just want to know. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what, I, what I've what i talked about with Ross, but, like, um, uh, if if I do die before you, Aaron, uh -huh. it's my last wish to have my body shot flaming into space. Okay. Do me that favor. All right. Thank you. Flaming, flaming. into space? It's got to be flaming. Well, I think if, if you were to approach the speeds or... Yes. If there was a way to do that, then you, <laughs> it would probably be involved with flames somehow. You're probably right. Just, just for efficiency's sake. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't I shoot you flaming alive into space, oh, there we go. and then your death will be taken care of. <laughs> the situation will resolve itself. Oh no! Oh yeah, yeah, I'm pretty apparently not that great at Mega Man. Okay, it's okay. So we can just continue indefinitely, right, with each new stage? Oh sure. Cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah, 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 there's no like, oh, you have to beat fucking, oh, there we go. Well, it's okay, we're off to a solid start. Yeah. <laughs> I love how, like, you get introduced, you play all these games you're really fucking good at, <laughs> just to establish, like, hey, hey somebody on here knows how to play video games. I reasonably like, know what I'm doing. Maybe Aaron's gonna step up his game. <laughs> As it turns out. Yeah. Well, luckily, I think as we as we move forward, we'll get into the block of games that I'm not good at, which includes 30,000 games. 99.9, <laughs> yeah. probably 10 decimal points fast. Yeah, no problem. I was like, hey, good, like, mm, I'm less good at everything that's not Super Mario 2 Punch-Out and Karate Kid. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or... I don't know. Maniac Mansion? You good at that? Ooh! Well, Maniac Mansion's one of those games where, like, you're not necessarily good at it. You just <laughs> like, remember how you to just, do it. Yeah, you just sort of remember how it goes. Uh, I love Maniac Mansion. You know what? I have an idea. Let's talk about Maniac Mansion when we play Maniac Mansion. Okay. Maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. Well, go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> How about that? I just, like, <laughs> talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk I about. Didn't, I didn't mean for that to sound <laughs> as nearly as dickish as the way it came out. Like, I, that happens to me all the time. Like, I'll be saying something, and I'll be like, oh, no. I sound like a fucking dick. But, like, there's no way to, like, pull out 
of the mission. <laughs> yeah. You can't abort like your sentence. Yeah. You have to be like, oh well, I guess I'm a douchebag now in people's eyes. Yeah. Or and if you throw a parenthetical, it just makes it sound more douchey. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, no, no. I, I, well, I didn't mean it I, like it's, that. It's I not, mean, mm, uh, yeah, uh, I'm self-aware enough to realize that that was a dick thing to say. I will. I will say that like. Uh, Having watched m myself on Game Grumps, because, you know, I watch the episodes to, like, learn what I can be doing better and such. Um, but whenever whenever that happens, like, I've never seen myself speak like that for, like, a long period of time. Yeah. And you realize, like, speech patterns and things that you do that you don't necessarily, that don't necessarily register, like, when you're talking. Like, I say, I say the word totally a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. I had no idea. Uh-huh. And, uh... My my friend Vernon came over after an episode and he was like, "You say totally a lot," and I was like, without even thinking, I was like, "You're totally right." I'm like, fuck! <laughs> you say totally a lot. Totally. <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps, Dan dies. Totally. Welcome back to Block Adventure. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna jump on some blocks for an hour. <laughs> Fucking and fail all of them. I sure hope you fall off. I gotta like pay attention to this. So yeah. that one comes, Focus. and then this one. Ah! That's a, that's a tough jump, man. Okay, so it's the third one, yeah. and then boom, boom. And right. then you need to like use all of your shitty Mega Man jumping ability. Here we go. Not your shitty ability, his shitty ability. There we go. Yeah. And then there's another. And then there's another one. Ah! I. Ah! Ah! ah. Oh shit! Ah! God, stakes are fucking high all of a sudden. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Good lord! You, you actually, I think, by the looks of it, you have to jump before the block uh, yeah, appears. Yeah, you do, yeah. Oh. You just gotta have faith in the fact that the game's not gonna fuck you over. Right. Wow, you know what? Maybe difficult mode was not the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize there would be blind lava jumps. <laughs> oh, oh, there's much more than just that. Yeah, son of a bitch. Fuck. Yeah, uh, balls. Is it too late? Will people not respect us if we go back and Oh no, we're not- we're gonna get fucking commit to this, man. Alright, do it. I believe in you. Damn it! And this is a- alright. <laughs> fucking spin- spinny jiggly juice! <laughs> um. uh. <laughs> 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 that is the very definition of getting Nintendo. <laughs> like Ooh, the, man, this game's got heat, just man. Being wedged down and having a very slow enemy gradually moving towards you while you're like, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight up metal, man, dude. I don't even care. Oh, do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll come back to lava guy. Lava uh, guy. I mean, heat man. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <sighs> maybe I should. Maybe I should use a cheat, man. This is a very relaxing background. <laughs> 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 you are inside the clock of time. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, what are all these gears powering? Uh, these gears are just there, D they're, spinning. They're all powering one guy's watch. <laughs> <laughs> they're, po they're powering the theming of the level. <laughs> the <laughs> this is very much like uh, Contra, like where something very similar like that drops down, like oh, those spiky things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're, I think there's a, a tank that has like spikes on it that approaches you. Yes, that thing sucks. And, and it makes that fucking like bleep, 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 sound when you shoot it. <laughs> the first time uh, I played that, yeah, you d you don't feel like you're doing any damage to you, and the tank is slowly approaching, like you're like you're a Chinese dude and it's Tiananmen Square in the late eighties, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh no, I do want I do not want to die for my political beliefs. <laughs> That was a learned reference, I apologize. <laughs> My political beliefs of wanting to have fun with a video game. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... It, one thing I will say about this game is, uh, I very much would like to try to see if, for the rest of my life, every time I jump, I can do that, like, Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it! Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I love gears! <laughs> I love gears and saws and such. <laughs> that, you know what always bugged me about these games, just just like I don't know, narratively, mm -hmm. is that like it's like Metal Man, and then it takes you to like this area that's themed like that guy, right? And then you show up in their room, so it's like a house, oh. and it's just like the most perilous house of all time. Yeah, like, it's like you want to see my room? All right, hold on. <laughs> this D is dead. <laughs> this is dead. This you gotta kill this guy and jump over this thing. <laughs> Poor design work, yeah. if anything. Very uh, difficult, and we've never learned from our mistakes. Architecturally, this is a bad idea. <laughs> There's a lot of possible ways to die on the way to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you want a snack? Hold on. Death. <laughs> ah! Ah! Sorry! He just appears behind you like, Murderous I, got, I gotta try loaded. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that, I like that ha the house is branded with Dr. W's everywhere. 
Yeah, well, he wants people to, he wants to advertise so that people call up and they're like, Hey, did you, are you the one who did all the, <laughs> yeah. the gears and shit? Cause man, that stuff is great. It, you look good. It looks good. Oh God. Oh no. Are you behind? Uh, I am behind, but it's I think okay. Metal Man's like, easy enough. You can get it. He, he jumps with me or against me or, Yeah, I think I if know. you keep your distance, you'll be all right. Yeah. Oh! Until he mixes in that third unnecessary <laughs> saw blade. Yeah, yeah. The contingency blade. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's a spot he could jump right there, so why don't I just fill it with saw blade? <laughs> <laughs> it makes so much sense. It really does. It, all right, I'll let you concentrate. All right. Just go ahead and, and talk the whole time. Aaron, I believe in you. Aaron, I believe. Aaron, I believe in you. Oh, oh he just he just changed the the way the yeah, yeah. treadmill moves. But I, ca I can't... Uh... Oh, but there's a little spot there that you're not treadmilling. Oh, it's because it changed direction again. Oh, that's good. Oh, right. dude, now, you, now you're kicking yeah. his ass. I got a little, I got a little rhythm. Yeah, you got, got it. You got the funk and or the groove. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably the second one, because the first one would imply that I haven't showered today. Oh, God. You know who hasn't showered today? Mm. Ross. <laughs> that guy stinks to high hell. We, it's, like, we had that, we had a couple of days here where it's, like, suddenly become summer now. And yeah. It's just, like, brutally hot. And, uh... And Ross just is a fucking smelly, disgusting Australian. I'm sorry to hear that. No, hey man, you're the one who has to live it too. <laughs> we were both in the car with him. <laughs> so oh! oh, sorry. I, I, I would have just smelled something unrelated to the people sitting in the car. <laughs> So, Woodman, uh -huh. what's this guy's angle? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's funny is that he's called Woodman, but everything in the stage is fucking metal. Yeah, it's true. What kind of woods are these? Cyber trees? Yeah. Uh, Cyber Bunny is uh, the ultimate mixture of adorable and deadly. <laughs> yeah, he shoots, he shoots carrot missiles. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like, like we're we're still ah! we're still close enough to like the old age where people like still understand that the stereotype of a bunny is that they have carrots. Oh yeah, totally. But well, like th a thousand years after that, it's gonna be like the bunny missile, and it's like fucking red and has like glowy shit on it. Will that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Do you think there will ever be a time when rabbits are not associated with carrots? Uh, That's a world I don't want to live in. Yeah, probably when carrot when rabbits become rabbits what, and or carrots become extinct. What, oh, I thought you were gonna say when they become sentient, like uh, <laughs> like Skynet, <laughs> Terminator. <laughs> well, because I bet in like the '40s people were making dodo jokes all over the place. Oh, and, that's and so now sad. nobody fucking talks about dodos. Were dodos around that recently? Yeah, I think I so. I thought they died out in like the 1800s. Really? I don't know. Maybe so. Uh, whoever is a dodo expert, please, in the comments... Uh, uh like, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, rate. <laughs> <laughs> and also give, give us some dodo facts. Give a shout out, tweet, Facebook, uh, yeah. MySpace, Instagram, Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't do any one of those things, yeah. we won't acknowledge you. Guys, if you don't fucking friendster us soon, <laughs> I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> I, <laughs> if you don't like my band on MySpace, then <laughs> fuck off, dude. I think friendster was at the time of dodos. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to be a dodo not to have a Friendster account. Nice. Yeah, that was their tagline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I can I just say this is random? But uh, for any fans of Tiny Tunes, oh my god. Yeah, carrot but, missile. Yeah, that is absolutely a carrot missile. Really, really well animated too. Yeah. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> What's it coming out of? I don't know. He doesn't have a tube or yeah, anything. They're just, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like Akira, all of a sudden, just shooting <laughs> mental carrots at you. <laughs> what the <laughs> Always in groups of three. Yeah, but he has to stop to shoot them. He's like, mm, I gotta think really hard! <laughs> mental carrots! <laughs> hippity hop, hippity! Oh, man. Oh, all I wanted to say about Tiny Toons uh, and Dodos was that Go Go Dodo was my favorite uh, character on Tiny- Oh, they fucking reggae. <laughs> You don't like reggae? No. No, the, the oh, bird's oh, name oh, is sorry. reggae. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> we were discussing Bob Marley before the episode started. So oh, like, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a no woman, no cry kind of, kind of state of mind. Um, but yeah, all I was gonna say about Gogo Dodo was, uh, 
it's weird to like a character on a show where the, the, your favorite character only appears like once every 18 episodes. <laughs> like, yeah. I hate that shit. And so like, but he was somehow in the opening at the same time. So like whenever they do the opening and it was like, and Gogo is insane, I'd be like, yeah, it's gonna be the episode that he's in. And then you'd watch for half an hour and get super fucking sad. <laughs> you would, I wouldn't. Oh yeah. I'd be like, who the fuck is Gogo Dodo? Yeah, in fact, I don't give no one shit. else would. <laughs> was he supposed to be the Roadrunner equivalent? He would, no, he was actually a reference to, like we're going way, way back to the beginning of Looney Tunes when they were black and white and super creepy. Mm -hmm. Um. Porky Pig goes is an explorer in one of them, and he goes to the land of the dodos. Oh, Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. And he's, and he's just like, <laughs> and like, yeah, and like really weird. I think he gets drunk or something. It's very, very bizarre and druggy. Like there's there's a lot of like early early Looney Tunes are incredibly uh, like psychedelic and weird and dark and. Uh, Genuinely racist in a lot of cases. Oh yeah, totally. Have you ever seen like the World War II era, like um, uh, Bugs Bunny episodes? Oh yeah. Like there's one. I don't even know if I can say it. Uh, say the title of it because it's so offensive. But it, it'll get edited out. You can look it up. It's not that hard to find. It's called Bugs Bunny. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm not even kidding. And um, <laughs> it's about like it was during World War II, so uh, you know much it. Anytime the U.S. is at war with uh, a group of people, it becomes okay to sort of make fun of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why, like, a as soon as, like, we went to war uh, with, um, you know, uh, Muslim countries in, uh, I can't remember which country it was specifically, but in the 80s, like, all of a sudden the Iron Sheik was in the WWF and he was mm, the main bad guy. Yeah. And there was definitely a bad Arab guy in the WWE, like, after 9-11 and stuff like that. So at the time, like in the 40s, it was just okay to hate on Japanese people because uh, there was a war going on against them, which is so horrible and so bullshit. But um, yeah, watch that episode and be like, oh, Bugs Bunny, you racist <laughs> bastard. Bugs, chill the fuck out, dude. No. Hey, nicely done, dude. Hey, thanks. I Ooh. was just... What? what? Next time on Game Grumps, uh, more... Uh... Stuff? Metal blading. I could have nailed that ending better. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Uh, I just want to say before you click off this screen, I really like this super relaxing. <laughs> that is like. Menu screen, password slide. <laughs> they just forgot the fucking harmony. <laughs> like they sent it in. <laughs> like the, the composer sent it in and was like, was like, how do you like the beat? And they were like, great, print it. And it was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, you've got a leaf shield now. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Yeah, I, I have the I have the weapon that everybody's weak against now. Oh, good. So good. I think Airman is weak. Take like, I think just fucking everybody is. Airman's the hardest fucking boss in the game. Is he? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's and you're actually just going for there's it. an entire song about how hard Airman is. Is because is it is it the fact that he has something to do with air? Is that I don't want to jump to conclusions, but uh, no. Based on, based on the context clues from Gah! <laughs> what the hell is that? See, I always thought that the bottom was like the mouth, and uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be. Oh. But I don't. I, I was I don't looking know. at like the snout thing as the mouth. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of like. like Ooh. Yeah, I thought it was like a birdo mouth, but yeah, maybe that like horizontal line is the mouth. And then he's just got like a big like, like septum piercing gone wrong nose. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Where the fucking septum is just one. I. There's nothing weirder to me than like, like ridiculous piercings, like especially on a pretty girl who just has, like, an insane piercing that, like, ruins it all. That's so sad to me. Like, which piercing? I, like, not any piercing in general. It's, it'll just, like, like, different piercings look good on different people, you know? Yeah, sure. And so, some people just go too far with it, I guess. Uh, my apologies to anyone who has a shit ton of piercings. You probably look really good. I'm talking about some somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> and her name is... Sad. What's a name that nobody has? Yeah. Her Oz name is... Uh, <laughs> Her name is Osvaldolina. <laughs> <laughs> I was spelt with two P's, three H's, and seven Q's. <laughs> you know what? Definitely, I'm not into though. Some people love it. Have you seen uh, the bagel head thing going around? Uh, mostly Eastern countries, uh, Asian countries. Have you heard of this? No. It is a type of body modification 
where um, you have a saline injection into your forehead, and oh. and then they press. It creates a lump on your forehead, and then they press the lump down with their thumb, and the thumbprint remains, thereby creating a bagel-like fucking protrusion from the center of your forehead, and it goes away in like uh, I don't know, 24 hours or something. But in the meantime, it looks crazy stupid. I love how somebody like what? Somebody just like. That's not even a thing that was, like, predetermined, yeah, you know? No. Like, it's like, I'm gonna do that. It just, like, did it, and then somebody was like, oh, and just pressed it, and somebody was like, dude! Not and cool! Then, and then that was just a thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, or cool. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's, like, one of those things that's so not cool, it becomes cool because it's, like, looped around. Mm. <laughs> like, it's come full circle into coolness. Oh, All right, you've here got we go. Half a health bar yeah. to fight Airman. Can you do this? Airman, Airman, God, Taos, and I. I, I believe in it. you. Oh Jesus! Yeah, he's insanely hard. He, I like how every every other fucking bad guy shoots like one or two things, and he just drops like twelve tornadoes on you. Oh, actually, I think he's weak against Leaf Shield. Ooh, nice. It, well, I will. Well, I guess like we'll I'm never know. We're never gonna get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's keep it going. All right, who's who's next to, to, for me to die on? Uh, Flashman or Crashman? Do you think they hang out more because they rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> and, and they get all pissed when like somebody mumbles. Yeah. Like a <laughs> And it's like what? <laughs> who, what? Who? Do you think they have a third friend named Cashman who never shows up because he's so fucking rich? <laughs> yeah, you guys fucking fight in your blue world. I'll just uh, I'll just stay here in my money pile. <laughs> I was I was rich enough to have more than sixteen colors on screen. <laughs> I mean, like that shit. <laughs> Fucking Cash Man! Damn, Damn it, it, Cash Man! Let's just hang out with Ash Man. <laughs> He's been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he was fr he was friends with Fireman. Well, you can imagine how that turned out. He's been hanging out with Sash Man a lot. I don't like that guy. He's a beauty contest winner. Oh, uh, but and fucking full of himself. <sighs> yeah, well. Ashman was was pretty good until he had that falling out with Fireman, and then he met Splashman, oh and my everything God. worked out yeah. for him. But yeah, he, he really made him who he was, <laughs> who he is now. Yeah, yeah. And then his life really like cleaned up when he met Trashman, and that guy took care of all his fucking. Sp <laughs> cleaned up. <laughs> did you see what I did there? It was super fucking not clever. At did you all. Did you see what I did there with my Splashman? You did it. Yeah. I I liked it, and yeah. that's why I tried to follow up with a vastly inferior. Fucking <laughs> Oh man. Oh yeah. Well, I, they 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 all like hanging out together. Yeah. But um, you know, when they go places that they're not comfortable with, they invite Brashman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and when they have potatoes that they don't know what to do with, they call in Mashman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw up Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> and when there really is nothing to do, <laughs> and they're just alone in their house, <laughs> and somebody's like, Dude, you still got the number of Stash Man? <laughs> <laughs> God, dude, my stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Holy uh, shit. Woo. I hope you're listening, creators of Mega Man 26. <laughs> <laughs> or the father, the grandfathers of the creators of Mega Man 6. Please pass down these ideas to your grandchildren. <laughs> Who will eventually be in charge. Oh man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> shit. God damn it, I wish. Jesus, I need to catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> you like Stashman, huh? Stashman! You like it? That was the one that really got me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think I think you went into an octave of laugh I've never heard before. I know, I that's that's the laugh I only get like when like I really can't fucking control it. And like sometimes like noises just come out of you where you're like, oh damn it. I sure hope that doesn't go on a video that'll be seen by hundreds of thousands of people and eminently repeatable. 
<laughs> I, my favorite laugh is the one where you're just you're just out of breath and nothing is coming out. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. But you're just like you're trying to convert like what sound you want to come out into writhing. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like. Oh. I get those all the time, but like, it's weird because in in this type of, you know, uh, um, in Game Grumps, like, that just sounds like you're douchily, like, being silent. It's like, <laughs> I didn't find that funny at all. Meanwhile, you're on the floor dry heaving. <laughs> oh, dude, you're no. kicking the crap out of this dude. Yeah, it's because Metal Man's strong against everything. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Way to go. Thanks, man. I did it by uh, using a weapon that was vastly superior to his. You know what? This is still on difficult level, so you're getting full credit. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is, like, the in Japan they created normal and difficult, and each level of difficulty was stepped up uh, in Japan. No, no, no. In Japan, there were no difficulties. You oh. just started the game, but it was what we got when we got oh, difficult mode. Oh, because that was what I was going to ask. I was like, what is their difficult mode? Just fucking impossible? No. Like someone comes out of the Nintendo and punches you in the face <laughs> while you're trying to concentrate? Yeah, the version that I'm playing right now is just the Japanese version. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then when they brought it here, they were like, this game's a little too fucking hard. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe we should play the normal mode. Because, well, like, th this was still, like... First of all, I haven't played a lot of these old Nintendo games in a long time, and I I forgot how tiny the controller is. Oh, yeah. Y like, you just... Because you have tiny hands the first time you play it, you know? And then when you revisit it uh, later in your life, you're like, wow, now I've got giant fucking hands. But I've always had, like... I don't know, Barry, maybe you can put up a, a screenshot of my weird, disgusting thumbs. I've got crazy huge thumbs. And oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, like... Oh, my God, holy shit. Have you never seen these before? Whoa! Yeah, dude, they're really wild. Your <laughs> thumbs are huge! I know, they look like toe thumbs. But that's why, like... <laughs> that's why I was always, like, so, so happy with, like, video games when controllers got shit. bigger and they had, like, more buttons because I could just mash it once with my giant thumb and, like, tuck, roll, duck, aim, and fire all at the, all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Tuck, roll, duck, game, and fire. That's the new EA game. Yeah. <laughs> they just announced this year. Yeah. They're they're running out of ideas over there. <laughs> uh, Tuck, roll, duck, game, fire. <laughs> we got it. Have a million dollars. <laughs> That's more than that, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. what the fuck? Damn. You can't even fall down there with getting hit by the super fast beam. That's really insane. All right, I'm going to give it another shot. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, wait, before you do that, I... uh, next call on Game Groups, Aaron does this level that is awesome. Number three. Yeah. Welcome back to the journey of a century. Hello, sirs and madams. There's no madams. The is there, is there any madams? There's got to be female Game Grumps fans. Oh, of course there are. Yeah, and they're beautiful. <laughs> Love how both of those statements sounded super douchey. <laughs> girls don't watch this show. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm sure girls watch. <laughs> <laughs> Way to take two positions <laughs> and, and sound, sound bad on both of them. <laughs> I don't want girls watching this show, but I do, but I don't. <laughs> I should have just said, I don't like women and covered both bases. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> no, it's not true. We love the ladies. No, I'm, I'm sure people know my stance on women yeah, by now. Yeah, they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Boobs are nice. The best. Have you ever seen a boob? Uh, all the time, and like I'll I'll tell you, like um, I don't know. You have not watched Game of Thrones yet. Mm -mm. Okay, I, I will know just. That show has a shit ton of boobs, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Like it's it's quickly become my favorite show, and I, I read all the books and all that. But like when when the show originally came out, I was like, man, I don't have time for like another TV show. Like there's already so many that I watch. Um, and my friend was like, it's like Lord of the Rings with titties. And I was like, sold! <laughs> <laughs> then we watched ten episodes. <laughs> and it's legitimately fantastic. Yeah, it was one of those shows where I was like, hmm, this show's pretty cool. And then, like, What's-Her-Face came out of the fucking thing with, like, just just out of the tub, all naked. And oh, I was like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. tricked me. That's really fucking cruel to have, like, the, the, the little pellet that you want. <laughs> yeah. And then be like... <laughs> 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 those, are, uh, those are some thick-ass beams, too. Like, yeah. they... they for, for the volume, for the amount of how many there are, they, they should definitely not be that wide in girth. Yeah. 
Plus they plus they're just like they travel really slowly. So like, what are they exactly? <laughs> like, what matter are they comprised <laughs> yeah. of? I don't know. Especially that they're making that oh. strange <laughs> sound. It's really. We can you duck no. in this game? No. Wow. There's no like crouch. Yeah, that's Mega Man Three. Ugh. Well, there's there's no crouching in any of the Mega Mans. Right. Except for Mega Man X Five. Can you duck backwards <laughs> on a on a like? Can you hit a pedal like in Time Crisis? No. Oh. So in Mega Man Three. You can slide. Oh shit! Do you, um, God, this the talking about that foot pedal just made me think of like incorporating feet into games. Do you remember when Nintendo came out and the the pad, like with the red and blue dots? Oh yeah, the power pad. Yeah, where like and you'd have to run in place super fast. Yeah. That was like. And then you'd always get on your knees and just slap it with your hands. Yeah. Oh my God, totally. Yeah. The and that was kind of like the the Wii. Fit before there was ah! such a thing. You're, you're getting a lot farther though now. <sighs> it's fucking impossible. Like you have to use Flashman like later on, but I want to save it for Quick Man. Mm. And go again on this guy. Do it. I'm gonna fucking. You gotta use my three real quick. Ah, uh, I super believe in you. My backwards three. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me what that means? Uh, the backwards three. Yes. It's just a backwards three. Cool. <laughs> it's, Thank you. There, there's items one, two, and three, which were the precursor to Rush. Ah. Um, so yeah. Now nah, it makes sense. So, but they didn't—they didn't bother to make like mirrored versions of the sprites, so they just—they just mirrored them. So when you use three or two, it just says two backward. <laughs> I, get, I. First of all, thank you for that explanation. You're very welcome. S secondly, uh, I like those little springy things. Before uh, they go springy, I like that they look like demon-possessed Roombas. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat gets on it, and it's like, like meow, meow. It's like, you die! Yes. <laughs> Get off! Let's put this on YouTube. That's a million views. Or maybe it would just do its springy thing, and the cat would go, meow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh. It, uh. Oh, I believe play. in you, Aaron. Let me switch I believe in you, now. Aaron. Before I go anywhere else. Yeah. How many did they say? One, two, three, four, five, five. Damn. Okay. So, one, two, three, five. That's that's like fucking speedrun mode. I don't I think. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, Fuck! Son of a bitch! I thought I didn't make the drop, but I did. Mm. I've never seen a level in a game where the everything just cuts out like this. Like the visuals just go completely dark at oh. random intervals and then come back. Or at Sorry. least not in an early Nintendo game. I'm sure they do it later. Um, I think it was a pretty common thing. Was it? Yeah. Uh, I think there was a level like that in Mario Three. Ooh, maybe. Mario like Three. Really I, late on. I. <laughs> I was still like trying to learn how to play Mario Two when Mario Three came out. Yeah. So I'm, like, Mario 3, I'm not quite that good at. Fuck! Oh, damn it! You had it, though. Like, <sighs> God, it's really, like, uh, there's really, like, no room to, like, run for, like, one second yeah. in the wrong direction. You just gotta know which way you're going. Uh, um, also, I, th I thought I had something against Mario 3 because, uh, did you ever see The Wizard with Fred Savage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. For anyone who doesn't know, there was this movie in 1991? 92? Whenever Super Mario 3 came out, it was this movie called The Wizard where Fred Savage is like the good guy and he's a kid and he's playing, uh, I guess there's like a video game competition. Yeah. And like the evil kid has the power glove. I don't know why. Like it, it does not, uh, oh shit. <laughs> Hold on. We'll let Aaron focus. This one. Yeah! Bullshit. Good job. Oh, I wanted that. Ah, oh, I could have gotten that. It's okay. It's okay. And you can't, you can't turn it off too. Like it's, you just have to ride it out. Oh and Now shit. I can't use it on quick man. It's okay. It's okay. Shit. We are past that. Are you fucking kidding me? Where was I on the? You're talking about Fred Savage. Oh yeah, uh, sorry. Power glove. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, the movie was. The movies didn't really have like product placement the way they do now. Like yeah. where like someone will just stop in the action and be like, I think I'll enjoy this delicious, refreshing Coca-Cola. <laughs> you know, but that was one of the first movies that tried that kind of thing. And essentially the whole movie is a commercial for Super Mario 3. Yeah. Uh, because the video game had not come out at that point. And like in the video game tournament that Fred Savage plays against the bad kid, 
Super Mario 3 is like the ultimate game that they have to play, like the final thing. And uh, you're just like, oh my god, whoa. Yeah. And uh, I have to buy it now. Yeah, so I was like super intimidated by Mario 3 um, mm. because of that game. So like, yeah, I had to, I had to play it cool. Wasted all my time on Quick Man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, why did you go back to Heat Man? Okay, cool. I think I can do him. I can get him. I, I believe in you. Thanks, man. God, he is not uh, very intimidating looking in that picture. No, he's not very intimidating in general, actually. Oh, it's just getting to him that's the problem? Y yeah. Cool. He, he was the... he. His weapon was actually the precursor to having a charge up. Because you know how Mega Man kind of has that, like, charge... Oh, like charge yeah. up his buster? Uh, Heat Man's attack can do that. Oh, cool. And I guess everybody really liked it. I like this music. I like all music in Mega Man. Yeah, it's very like classic Nintendo. Like, <laughs> yeah, they, those guys were fucking like the best at just like developing like bass lines and harmonies oh, that just yeah. go really well together. Yeah, it, I I learned a lot about like uh, musical composition in general from from playing Nintendo games. Because a lot of times, N Super Mario Two is certainly like this. There there were certain games where like when you'd go to the pause screen. It would keep playing the music, but it would just be like the bass line. Yeah. And then you could you could really hear how like the song was constructed. It was it was really kinda cool. All those music theory courses I took in college, like I mean <laughs> they, they weren't shit compared to uh to Zelda, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, seriously. I it's cool too because you can actually like hear all of what's going on in these songs just because they're so simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One one of my favorite like songs in general of all time is uh, from this game called The Ninja Warriors. Talking uh, about Daddy Mulk. Daddy Mulk, fuck yeah. <laughs> that movie, that, that movie, that song is amazing. Yeah, it really is. Um, <laughs> so like, uh, I, th I think it was Taito that, that had, um, uh, that made that game. Yeah, it was uh, Taito. Yeah, they had like, they had an in-house uh, band that would play uh, all their video game uh, music, and they do live shows. They were called Zuntata, so Z-U-N-T-A-T-A. -T so if you look up uh, Zuntata and Daddy Mulk uh, online, you can find the song by itself, and you can also find this crazy like video of them playing it from like 1990, and they're all wearing these insane like spacesuits. Yeah, they look like baked potatoes. Shit! Oh. I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I got you excited about Zuntata. <laughs> that was like the most fucking genuine Yeah, that was super exclamation I've ever made. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was some fucking uh, Uncle Buck shit, the shit right shit. there. Shit! <laughs> They're like I have a, I have a younger sister and um, when we were growing up we never we never fought except when I was playing Nintendo and I'd get so frustrated, I'd be like, GET out! <laughs> and she would feel super bad, and I'd feel super bad. Ah, oh, Nintendo. Just ripping families apart. Apparently when I was a kid, I had that same problem. I had, like, a temper problem with, well, it, with like, Mario Kart. Yeah, because these games were so frustrating, and you cared so much yeah. uh, about succeeding at them. Oh, hey, next time on Game Grumps, Aaron succeeds at this. <laughs> I'm calling it. Didn't this happen last time? Maybe. Next time on Game Grumps, I'm gonna do it. It's happening. I swear. Welcome back. Fucking blocks. No Christ. Game Grumps. Oh, <laughs> raster. Get out of here, man. <laughs> I thought I told you to hide under the bed so mom doesn't find you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were. She'll make you. She'll send you back to planet Quizgar. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about that before, but we didn't actually like finish and resolve it. Did you have? You did have an imaginary friend when you were growing up. Oh right? no, I had. I had what's called as an imaginary imaginary friend. What does that mean? So. <laughs> Let me, let me just go ahead and lament over my loss before I answer your question. Please do, please do. You made it super far that time. Um... So, like... Imagine, having an imaginary friend was, like, a thing. Like, it was in, like, every cartoon show and, like... Right. Every sitcom. Mm-hmm. So, I was just like, should I have an imaginary friend that I, like, I'm convinced I can see? Right. Um, so I just pretended I had an imaginary <laughs> friend. <laughs> Like, the next level of having an imaginary friend. 
That's, I was so not convinced. It's I was so like, I, I can't see anything. But you see, I was the exact opposite way. I had an imaginary gang where, like, it was three imaginary friends that would, like, back me up in everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> and the fourth one would always have, like, a really goofy take on it. Like, I'd be like, hey, guys, let's go party today. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, I like pizza. You know, like, <laughs> The precursor to your current comedy. Yeah, yeah, go figure. Uh, th this is gonna shock you. I did not have a girlfriend when I was a kid. Oh, Dan, you're I know. breaking my heart. It's blowing my mind. I actually, my first date uh, was when I was 13. I went, <laughs> oh my god, I went on a date with this girl named Jody, and we went uh, roller skating. Jody is such a first date. I, isn't it? Isn't it? And, uh, oh, Jody. Jody. <laughs> it, I, uh, for, first of all, let me clear something up because I'm going to catch flack if I say it accidentally. I grew up in New Jersey. When I said I grew up in New York during the Mike Tyson thing, uh, I meant I grew up in the New York area and I just like didn't complete the thought. But I grew up in Jersey, like right near New York, uh, New York City. And um, so in Jersey, there's not many things to do. Don't shake your head at me. Oh, you're shaking your head at the sadness of... Dying. I'm sorry. I, how could I pay attention to you? I'm sorry. When I have so much at stake. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You all that block jumping you, was for naught. <laughs> you should just call this Heat Man the series, not fucking <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man Two. Mega Man Two is like five percent of this footage. <laughs> you okay? Uh, I'll pour my heart out uh, from lost loves, and you pour your heart into this game. All right, go and for we'll it. We'll meet in the middle. So, uh, in Jersey, there weren't many things to do, like, as far as, like... Just like how in Heat Man, there's <laughs> fucking barely anything to do other than hop on blocks. <laughs> Go ahead with your story. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm almost totally over it. <laughs> I haven't even thought about it in the last millisecond or two. <laughs> so there was this girl named Jody, and, um, I went on a date with her when we were 13, and so we went roller skating together, and... Here's a fun fact about going on dates that I didn't know. Uh -huh. uh, when you go on a date with a girl, you should spend time with the girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know that. So uh, our date was pretty much um, like the, the roller skating rink that we went to uh, had like video games on the side. So it was me playing the arcade game of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 while Jody roller skated by herself in semicircles around the <laughs> fucking Oh god, that is sad. Yeah, it's super sad. But I will say that the cool thing about going on dates when you're 13 is that the girls don't know what a good date is either. So after that, like we hugged at the end, you know, and I got um, a note from her the next day in math class with like little hearts for all the eyes saying like like, I'm so glad we went on that date. It was... It yeah, was... all she knows is that she knows she went on a date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, that was the best date I ever went on. It was super fun. And then we went, never went on another date, and uh, she gave my friend a handjob. Uh... <laughs> At 13? No, no, no. This was years okay. later. I'm just, I'm just finishing <laughs> finishing the arc of my history with this girl. And then, yeah, we all went uh, to Wildwood, which is where you go uh, for, um, like, spring break in New Jersey. And, uh... Yeah, she gave my best friend a handjob. Good times. Just young love. Yeah. Young love. Just so many special memories of betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I'm glad you shared your story. Yeah. Meanwhile. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in fucking... Motherfuck! Forever block town. I hate blocks! Oh, man. No, it's fine, dude. I'm gonna... <laughs> Fuck Bach! Uh, Bach? <laughs> Like, the fucking classical composer? Yeah, I don't know, maybe he was an asshole. I'm so tired of his- Damn it! His symphonies! I forgot there was a thing that showed up! I blame you, Beethoven! <laughs> <laughs> Listening to the ground? <laughs> you should have known! You're deaf! <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> For all he knows, he fucking sucked! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that an amazing fucking thing, like, that, uh, the greatest composer of all time was deaf? Yeah. What the fuck, like... Do you think he would have been as famous if not for the fact that he was deaf? 
I don't know. What? Why do they do that to you? Because they, they <laughs> are fucking jerks. <laughs> This is still some fucking post World War II fucking <laughs> angst going on. <laughs> but like the let's Americans get, will get this soon. Let's get 1940s Bugs Bunny on the scene, <laughs> so he can shoot them down like the Red Baron. Oh my God. Yeah, you know it's weird because sometimes like we play these games and uh, we don't think about. Um, how long this is going to be for the people who view the game. Yeah. This could be weeks of Mega Man. It'll be months. <laughs> <laughs> Based on this progress. <laughs> it'll be fucking months. The, we can release these. These will be on, like, the like the DVD extras. <laughs> like, the lost episodes. Like, oh, lost yeah. years of our life. Jump in the air. Yes! Uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah! I just had to remember that it was the third one. Flawless. That wasn't flawless. That was Dude, full of flies. Dude, I mean, but like you're <laughs> it super had me healthy. playing it. Oh. <laughs> you, you can't be flawed. <laughs> Aw. Uh, here we go. You know who believes in you? Who? Yeah. This guy right here. Oh. Yeah. And I believe in you. So. Yay! Yeah, you believe in my ability to fucking talk while you <laughs> while you fight this human staple remover. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, damn God, it! No. Stop throwing little flames at me, you yeah. jerk! Yeah. I'll shoot my fucking lead at you. How do you like that? Yeah. Did that do anything for you? Ah! <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, I guess you just have to be, like, super aggressive. Motherfucker! It's fine? Yes! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Ow! Two fucking slivers of health. Oh, my God. What did you call them when you were a kid? Uh, what? The slivers of uh -huh. health? God, I don't know. I don't think I had a name for them. <sighs> I, I think Jimmy Jams. Jimmy Jams. <laughs> Jimmy Jams was my all-purpose word for like things that I didn't know the name of. <laughs> or Jim Jam Jeruz. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. Last night I got a bunch of Jimmy Jams in my underwear. I, I got some Jimmy Jams stuck in my Jimmy Jams. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Can you explain it? <laughs> oh, Son, gross. you're a growing man, and it's time we had the Jimmy Jam talk. Uh, tiny, <laughs> tiny boy. Penis ejaculatory fluid. Oh, that's uh, what you were talking about. Oh, no, you thought I was talking about the other thing. Yeah, well, they're all bad. Yeah. Anything that can show up randomly in your drawers is, is, <laughs> never, a, is never a good thing. <laughs> Dude, I've never, I've never had that first thing that you were talking about. The Night Jimmy Jam release? N neither have I! I've never had it! Neither have I! And I read in a fucking book that, like, 99% of, like, males have it by the time they're 15. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, Maybe glad I won the lottery on that one. <laughs> Bullshit. That's the two things that I that I won, uh, that, that I got the super rare uh, side of. Awful looking thumbs and less ejaculations. <laughs> 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 you know what's weird? My life is so, sort of related to that. Yep. I have never gone all the way in a dream. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I would assume that's when it happens, right? Uh, yeah. It can't. It can't. Like, something always like morphs, or like I get like, it's, like there's like a wall that shows up, and I'm yeah. like, ah. Yeah. Wait, it's it, which does not correlate at yeah, all to or, my like normal sex or life. Like, yeah. You're having sex with the girl in your dream, and then all of a sudden, like you're building a canoe. You're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. What the and fuck? it's like dream. Ah! Or like, or like, I, I guess it's just become such a staple of my dreams that like, <laughs> when it happens, I'm just aware, and I'm like, oh no, something's gonna happen, and then it does because I sabotaged myself. I uh, I had a I broke up with a girlfriend, and then for a while I started having like full relationship dreams. Oh god! Where like they'd start off as sex dreams, and then the girl would be like, I think I want more out of this. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Come on! Son of a bitch! I can't even have you in my fucking <laughs> world of my own! No, I don't want to build a canoe! <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps, <laughs> more lamenting. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Grumps. Dan was just fucking, like, having a... <laughs> I wish you could have seen yourself. What? Because you were just like, after the episode ended, and then we were about to start the next episode, he, Dan goes, I wish I brought the Skittle jar in here. And like, he, he, he fucking had this like perfect, like, 
crack withdrawal posture oh, to it. Man, yeah. just like, he just like rocked a little bit. Like, <laughs> oh, wish I brought the skills, John. <laughs> I, wish I, uh, uh. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't do drugs, and I, like, I don't want to get too into my life, but I got like pretty ill uh, recently, and I'm totally fine now. But I can't drink. Uh, as a result, so like I have no vices anymore other than fucking Skittles. Like they're the only thing I can do, and uh, <laughs> so like when I want them, I really fucking want them. <laughs> and, and it's and it's super like we have a giant Skittle jar because somehow I don't. How did you? Well, I I know you need to concentrate right now, but when you don't need to concentrate anymore, tell me how you got the giant fucking box of Skittles uh, that is in your house. This guy, Nathan Barnett, uh... Shit, I need to, I need to die. Yeah, okay. This guy, Nathan Barnett, he plays Keith Apicary in Talking oh, Classics. Yeah, yeah. He's like the tall, lanky guy. He can't sound to talk like this. Right. Um, he's super fucking nice. Yep. And I, I, when I bought my F-Zero machine off of him, um... He just had a bunch of fucking Skittles and was just like, do you want a box of Skittles? It and is, I was like, yes! It is legitimately a box. Did you think of me when you fucking saw uh, yeah, yeah, I did actually, yeah. yeah. I had a little like, Dan's gonna love Oh this. my god, Skittles are like, all of the other candies combined, uh, I don't love as much as I fucking love Skittles. I could just taste the goddamn yes. rainbow. Yes! 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 yes. It's my victory against Airman is like tasting the rainbow. Woo! It's because we were talking about Skittles that you got, uh, the power. You got charged up with the rainbow energy. Did you know... Yes? ...that Mega Man was supposed to be called Rainbow Man? Are you serious? Because he, he changes colors when he gets all the... Get out of here! Yeah. What made them change their mind? Uh, because Rainbow Man's super fucking gay! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Incidentally. Yeah, and we don't mean gay in a bad sense, just gay is... Uh, gay and rainbows, they become somewhat synonymous. Yeah. The, uh... Gay in a literal sense, not yeah, in a bad sense. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's just funny, man. Like, because that when I was growing up, that was not um, that was not the case. You know, like uh, that that flag had not been adopted as a symbol oh, of right, homosexuality. Yeah. So, like, um, <laughs> it's funny to look back on the '80s. Like, I'm a child of the '80s, and it's it's funny to look back and uh, just how like the tough guys were all dressed in like bright rainbow, like everything. And they're like what you would oh, consider right, to, yeah. yeah what you would consider today to be like unwearable by a, a, a man of, of of heterosexuality well, the 80s was like crazy with that shit yeah the 80s was a very colorful nothing but triangles and lightning bolts slow time it was just it was just slower man like I, I was reading that not to get fucking too deep <laughs> but like I was reading this book um, called the age of spiritual machines by this guy Ray Kurzweil very cool book and he talks about like uh, how times change with like whatever the most advanced technology is that, um, the, is that the Siri guy? Yes, he's the guy who created Siri. Yeah. Um, his one of his theories is that uh, Fuck. Uh, whatever the most advanced technology at any time in a society is, that's how fast the society moves uh, as you know in its daily life. So like telegrams and Pony Express were at one point, and then like. Then, you know, TV and telephones came. Right, right. And then now you've got cell phones and the internet, and that changed everything. Um, and you could really feel it, because, like, when the internet happened in the mid-90s, like, people were like, this is a fad. Like, I remember, like, 96, like, this guy went on the news, and he was like, this is the year you're going to see the big backlash where the internet just disappears. I'm like, yeah, nice call on that one, dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously, that's, that's like, what everyone says when they're, like, re refuse to acknowledge change. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, it's a fad, and it's like, why would you want it to be? Yeah. Look at how much this affords us it's, as a, a race of yeah, people. I bought an iPhone, and now I have the Library of Alexandria in my pocket <laughs> yeah. at all times. Like, e Oh man, I think about the stuff I had to learn, like, like the library and like the card catalogs and the Dewey Decimal System. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's all still good, and you should definitely support your local library. But like, you could also fucking just look it up on that thing you carry around with you at all times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was a, that was a recent discussion that we had on Game Grumps earlier. Was that like it was like you go to school, right, and it would be like. Why do I have to learn this math? And it's like, what well, do you think you're gonna be carrying a calculator everywhere you go when you grow up? And it's no, like, I'm gonna be carrying around something uh... vastly superior to a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> the calculator function will take up 0.01%. <laughs> 
of what it's capable of. <laughs> oh and my yet, TI-80 fucking calculators oh. are still like $60. TI- oh, Jesus. I had the TI-82. Damn it! Yeah. No, you're doing great. The TI-82- <laughs> The TI-82, uh... No, I was responding to the TI-80 calculator comment. Oh, that! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Could, well, that's good, because my No, You're Doing Great comment, again, sounded more dickish than I meant it to. No, you're doing super. <laughs> you should try to get hit by that. <laughs> I have been, and it's been working! <laughs> it's going great! Oh, it's closer to nighttime now. Is oh, that yeah. what's happening? No, I'm going into space. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah! I used to love games like that. Like, there was this game, holy shit, I'm going way back now. My first, uh, my first gaming system, which, as we were discussing yesterday, uh, in our personal lives, was, uh, considered a PC. Uh, the Commodore 64. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and that had a game called Sea Speller, which, you're, like, you're in, in control of this submarine, and you've got a little dolphin friend, and, like, it's helping you spell shit, and whenever you do it correctly, you go deeper into the ocean, and as you go deeper and deeper, it gets, like, darker and darker blue until it's an all black background and you're like oh now i'm in the fucking like nether regions of the ocean <laughs> it's it's just amazing because like you know i'm sure these games look so primitive to a lot of people but like um like to us like when you were playing them this was the most advanced shit we'd ever seen mm -hmm. so your imagination would just fill in the gaps oh yeah i think there's still a lot of value in that and a lot of people don't really see that no no like there, there's something cool about like imagining yourself in the world and not having everything like super spelled out about how everything would look in real life and all that um good job thanks <laughs> i'm fucking game over Son bullshit bitch they should give you five lives fuck <laughs> christ butt plugs <laughs> I remember the first- That wasn't an exclamation, I just had the thought, yeah, just, just... and I'm frustrated with that thought. <laughs> like, stop! The, the... I go to a fucking psychiatrist, there was... can't stop thinking about butt plugs and it <laughs> makes me angry! It's shocking, man, cause like, butt plugs were not a thing that I thought was real for the longest time. I thought it was just like a joke someone was making. And then for, uh... I don't know if we've mentioned it on the show before. I'm in a band called Ninja Sex Party, and it's a uh, kind no. of yeah, it's a comedy band. I guess some people don't know. How Maybe. come you never even told me? I, shut up. <laughs> Aaron did an amazing uh, animation for Barry. Put it up. Just put up the link, and then people can see it in case they haven't. Oh, dinosaur Lugi. Dinosaur laser fight. D dinosaur Lugi fun. Is that what <laughs> dinosaur Lugi fun. <laughs> it's a goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> The, those are the nastiest of all loogies. The, the three parters where it starts off like, and then stage two is, and then stage three is like, oh, it's disgusting to even do in jest. Because <laughs> it's such, it's such a grumbling, subtle sound. Oh yeah. I just imagine fucking like, oh yeah, with all the fucking background. <laughs> It's a goddamn dinosaur laser! It's <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. I feel very congested now having done that. Oh, oh my nauseating. god. Oh, so the reason the the reason we got on all that was like for for one of the ninja sex party videos we had to um we had to get a butt plug for obvious reasons. And like I was shocked because like I went into like the sex store uh, in Brooklyn where I was living at the time, and um, they had uh, I, like you, you go in there and you don't you've never bought this before and you feel kind of weird and you're like and you think it's like a novelty item so you're like do you, do you have do you have butt plugs <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like of course we've got the whole wall of them over here <laughs> and like the the one we picked was like on the small to medium size, and it was enormous. <laughs> like, people need to stop sticking stuff up their ass. Why? Why would you, why would you even? Why? It's yeah. like, why well, you just go ahead and do it? Yeah, f far be it from me to tell people how to live their lives. But god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but god damn it. Like, what the 
heck is up with all the butts? You know what I don't understand? What's up with all these butt plugs? You know what I don't understand? Why all these people see all these other people that are different colors than them and like it? I mean, I'm only 107. <laughs> a bit around the block. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, next time on Game Grumps, more anal fun. <laughs> oh, you know what? I wish I. That's I wish not I, something to look forward to. <laughs> I wish I'd phrase that differently. Welcome back to Groom Groom. Welcome to. Good old. Guys, guys. I, I've been meaning to talk to you, oh, and by, by guys, I mean you. <laughs> I've been meaning to talk to you about a possible new name for the show. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I kind of know my way around branding, so I was thinking we could uh, rename the show. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a B. <laughs> or it could be <laughs> IP. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I love, like, Nintendo sedentary stars backgrounds. Oh, yeah. I, we might have said that before, but I really do. It well, just... it, it, it makes the most sense. Yeah, because stars don't move. Yeah, exactly. They're whenever, not in a whenever there's like state of twinkling. Yeah, whenever there's, like, a, 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 a spaceship scene or whatever, and, you, and there's, like, moving stars, like, it makes sense in a game sense, because you need to know, like, where everything is and how right. you're moving. Right, right. But it doesn't make sense because stars aren't, like, right the fuck here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Though looking at it, uh, oh, balls. It it went too fast, but actually you can see the, the pattern in the stars, like the tiling. There's, like, a kind of a circle of space, and you can see it repeated. Oh. Right. Yeah. yeah. Little fun fact for you. The best way to do that is to create that and then just take one of them and then, like, move it over here and cut it in half and then move it all the way to the other oh, side. Oh, sneaky. Yeah. You know all the tricks. Yeah, I used to. I, well, it was back when you know, making web pages with tiled backgrounds oh, was, yeah. was the was cool the thing, thing to, to do. do. Yeah. Oh, I had myself a GeoCities website. Oh. You, you would have fucking do killed you, for. Do you still remember the URL? Ah, uh, I don't. I'll have to look it up. I remember mine. Do you? Yep. What was it? GeoCities.com slash Tokyo slash Garden slash eight one two three. It rolls right off the tongue. Yep. So whenever I was like, dude, check out my homepage, www.geocities.com slash Tokyo slash garden slash 8123. Can like, you remember it? That was like what, at the beginning of uh, the internet where people would say the entire website no matter what. Like they would always be like, HTTP, HTTP colon backslash backslash www.fuckmyself.com backslash eat a dick balls. <laughs> monkey shit. And it's not a backslash, it's a forward slash. Oh, is it a forward slash? Yeah. I always hated when people did that. Sorry. Th th those are my two, in you actually did two of my fucking internet pet peeves in awesome. a row. Awesome, awesome. When people say w, w dot, they like leave out a W. Oh, did I? Yeah. I, well, actually, it's, I said W twice, so that's actually four U's, so that's how I'm gonna get out of that one. I, I overachieved. Trying to anything. do the Kid Icarus password. <laughs> yeah. you, 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 you. <laughs> did, did you ever... I, did we talk about this where yeah, like we did. You, you would confuse like the the passwords so you'd Justin Bailey on Kid Icarus and 8UU <laughs> on Metroid? <laughs> no, I never I never confused the passwords. Uh, well, I always I always tried the Konami code on everything. By the way, up, I up, just down, 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 I just did it. What? I just fucking did it. Oh, you totally did it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, much like most things in life, you just have to like not concentrate and pay attention and like <laughs> You unconsciously know how to do everything. Let it happen. Yeah. Just totally. like that that one guy, what's it, the, the German guy? What's Mi that? Micro expressions. Micro expressions? Yeah. You were talking to me about it. Was it? With the, the like the Kato Kalin thing. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Where you like, tr you have to trust your instincts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this book uh, called Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, which is, it's about a lot of things, but one of the things they talk about is how, um, the impression- oh, nice. Yeah. It'll take him down to half health and then you have to do the rest yourself. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so, um... Uh... Yeah, this book called Blink. It, one of the things is talking about trusting your intuition and how, like, when you meet somebody new, the impression that you get 
of them in the first two seconds is often uh, more accurate as to who they are um, than knowing them for like six months. Because like, when, when you're getting to know somebody, they're always putting forth like the best impression of themselves, you know? Like, that's why people love Facebook so much and things like that, because they can be like, here's my best looking picture. And yeah. like, I can really, that's why people like text too, more than phone calls, because they can really think about what they want to say and blah, blah, blah. Can I just interrupt and Fuck say yeah. that two seconds in? Dr. Wiley. This guy's a fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> my first impression is you suck, Wiley. <laughs> but the, the idea is there's this tiny window uh, that your subconscious can pick up on when you meet someone where they can't hide who they truly are. And that is something worth trusting. So if you get a weird feeling from meeting someone right away, but then like they're really cool, you, I'm not saying you should hate them or anything, but like there is something to uh, that immediate feeling that you get. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's cool. And then there's also the the you can't hide how you feel immediately. Right, right. The other part of that book they talk about is um, uh, how like there's there's this scientist who analyzes people's faces and he can tell incredible amounts of information just by like the expressions on their face and certain lines on their faces. It's very cool. Same, same, all from the same book. And so what he does is he slows down video footage of people frame by frame uh, and so like the reason Aaron mentioned Kato Kalin was, Kato Kalin was this guy in the O.J. Simpson trial who uh, was like on O.J.'s side and like a friend of his. And the prosecutor um, was like grilling him while he was on the witness stand. And so like he had someone watch the footage of Kato Kalin being grilled on the witness stand. And he was like, tell me what you think Kato Kalin's thinking. Do you think he's okay with this prosecutor and all that? And he's he's just sitting there answering the questions very nicely, and people and everyone was like, yeah, it seems seems perfectly reasonable. He seems fine with it. But then when you slowed the footage down super fast, uh, super slow rather, the second after the prosecutor asked the question, they freeze frame his face and his like lips curl up, like for a fraction of a second, and he looks like a snarling dog, and and then he like. Uh, recovers and goes back to normal. So it's barely perceptible, but you can see in that moment the hate he was actually feeling yeah, yeah. for the prosecutor. It's super cool. It's a very, it's a very interesting book. Yeah, it's cool. I, I, the term is micro expressions. I micro guess. expressions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, there, you, did you read it? I didn't read the book, but I watched a bunch of videos on it. Oh, nice. I watched them. Uh, Malcolm Gladwell, actually, he's the guy with the crazy hair, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I watched his uh, spaghetti sauce talk a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, on Ted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a great talk. He, he's fucking awesome. Um, and I mean, like, he's cool about saying that everything I say is a theory, you know, it shouldn't be taken as fact, you know, but, I mean, he does back his ideas up really well. And uh, he wrote another book called The Tipping Point, which is also worth... Fuck. Uh, wor worth checking out, because that that talks about how things go viral and. Um, oh really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Um, I mean, there's a lot in there, but like the idea is that like, not all people are the same, like in terms of how they share things. So like, you you can think like, oh, if uh, my video has got to reach 500 people, it'll just reach 500 people, but it's not actually like that. It's reaching like. 499 normal people and then one special type of person that will just like share the fuck out of it and get it to go completely viral on his own you know it's not like 500 people working at an even clip to make it go viral right um oh my god yeah what a happy friendly evil dragon <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> his tiny fucking wings are holding up his gigantic metal <laughs> fat body where are you going i just want to hang out with you i think he's weak against quick boomerangs Oh wait, can I just, uh, can, oh never mind. It's, uh, I had something to say about that screen, but... Shit, shit! Okay. Whoa, yeah, are those that's slippery? The, yeah, that's, well, you get knocked back when you oh, get hit. Oh, not cool. So... Uh, that's what makes him... Yeah! Cool. Nicely done! I think he has a second form. Son of a bitch. He's evolving! Oh, no, that's it. Nice! Woo! Oh, boy! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> But you should go look up talks by Malcolm Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell, yeah. worth your time. Pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. I, the, the, I, the, it's how I approach like all entertainment. Well, well, it makes you feel better about being like a an entertainer because 
you know, when you when you have a, a medium like YouTube and you're and you're always putting something out there and getting it immediate feedback, mm -hmm. and then people are telling you like what exactly they want. Yep. You know, it's 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 easy to think that like okay, if I do that, people will start being a lot more receptive than my stuff. Right. But that's not the case. Mm. It's like you, you have to you have, you always have to keep presenting them with new things, and then they decide on like whether or not they like that. Right. And then based on if they like that. You can move on. Yeah, I think ultimately you just have to like be true to yourself. Yeah. You know? like, yeah, 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 definitely. Because if if you try to please everyone, you just you can't do it anyway, and you'll end up like doing half as good a job on whatever you would have done. You know? Yeah, totally. I I keep thinking on that menu screen, like the, at the pause screen. Can you? Yeah, I keep thinking it says barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> You guys wanna have a barbecue? You boys wanna have a barbecue? <laughs> We're gonna be making frickin' and steak. <laughs> frickin' and steak, delicious steak. We're gonna put those fibs on the grill. <laughs> Next time on Fame Frumps, we're gonna have a barbecue. Full four! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh, I guess that would've been the same. Fuck back and Frumps! Flim a clap repeat! Right now I'm in a drill room where drills are coming out of the fucking ceiling and, and ground. the floor. Uh, not, n n the, not ideal for anybody, really. Those are stalactites and stalagmites. Aww, which yeah. one's which? Uh, Tenacious D actually taught me this. Stalactites, because, uh, I can't remember. And stalagmites, uh, come from the bottom because they might poke you in the ass from below. <laughs> I figured you would just know them because you were around, like you you were a paleontologist, yeah? Oh, well, not for real paleontology, but like, I was more in the research side of it, but yeah, I, um, geology and paleontology was one of the things I pursued in college. Oh. Um. Yeah, hey, oh. But, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't learn much. I got most of it from Tenacious Day. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my knowledge. Oh, good work. Thanks. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, we'll get into the, that someday. Uh, I could tell you many crazy geology Fuck! stories. Which, uh, I'm sure people are like, oh, please. I'm tell me amazing stories dying about rocks. To know. What if you. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. I'm about to run out, dude. Oh, shit. This timing is, like, ridiculous. Oh, no, I can't. I've got. Yeah! <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, it's been <laughs> <laughs> If I die though, I have to do it again and I'm oh, fucking crap. screwed, so I can't. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> uh. Those things kind of look Star Wars y, those spinning. Oh Jimmy yeah, Jim. they do. Yeah, I like them. I like them too. Yeah. I like you, Dan. I, I like Star Wars. <laughs> I hope I'm not breaking any new ground. <laughs> I'm like, I'm having this moment with you, Dan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like you, Dan. I like Star Wars. That's, that's like what would happen like in my early days of dating. A girl would be like, I'm so glad we could be here together. And I'd be like, you know what? Lucky Charms are delicious. I just have trouble concentrating. Have you ever had them? <laughs> when, I wasn't sure when they introduced red balloons at first, but now I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they brought in rainbows, and I was like, these are a lot of new marshmallows. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girl's, like, been gone for 30 minutes. <laughs> these are a lot of new marshmallows. I wasn't always sure about the way it turned the milk purple. And there's, like, a note, like, I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always thought they didn't go about it the right way. Yeah. Because if they released a commercial... <laughs> That said, we're gonna be releasing the rainbow soon! The leprechaun never warned me! <laughs> oh Good boy. Good god. Wow, you've got fucking like sticky bombs now? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's a, it's I guess a... I'm gonna use this to refill my sticky bombs. Yeah. Wait, wait, I should use it to refill Metal Man because oh, he's nice. the most useful. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't know uh, you could change the color of the power pellets. Oh, shit. I don't even know if that's what they're called. Uh, sure. Why not? Or do you just think somebody's gonna be like, The power pellets! Energy beach! Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no one ever says dumb shit on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't assholes that'll correct your every fucking... <laughs> 
There was a. I, I had a moment like that. I was. I was doing a thing with with Susie. Oh, shit. Ooh, man, that is unforgiving. I was on a show that's gonna go up recent uh, soon with, uh -huh. with Susie, and uh, the host, the host was like reading letters from the fans and stuff, mm -hmm. and and like. She was like, is this grammar, is, is this right? And I was like, well, actually, you should use that because it's present tense. And, <laughs> like, she, she uh, it, it was like, it was like, it was like a list of things. It was like, I have a problem with cigarettes, alcohol, and everything are. <laughs> and, and it was like, should it be are or is? And I was like, well, technically, the whole statement is grammatically incorrect because <laughs> in the list, it's using different tenses. Yeah. There's, there's plural and singular. You're discussing the predicate, and you should base <laughs> it on the subject. <laughs> shit. Shit. So if you use... It sounds weird because everything ends the list, right? And everything is technically singular. Oh but man! But the statement started with a plural, which you should use "r" on. You know what? <laughs> you know what makes for a great YouTube video? What's that? Endless grammatical clarification. <laughs> That has a million views written all over I, it. I don't think they're going to use any of that footage. <laughs> and if they do, bravo. Yeah. Boy, you can really jump through this water. Yeah. Like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> there was a website I used to go to that was all Mega Man. Uh-huh. It was the Mega Man homepage. I love it. And there was there was a, a thing that said, water does not make Mega Man jump higher. And it always confused me. Damn it! Yeah, you really gotta fucking get it in that, like... Yeah. Window of not too early, not too late. She was talking about um, how, when you're out of the water, it doesn't make you jump higher. But I always just, just I was like, how does it not make him high? It, it clearly makes him <laughs> yeah, jump yeah. higher. He's flying. <laughs> <laughs> and really fast too. That's yeah, that's hilarious. I wish I could jump through water like that. Wouldn't that yeah, be amazing? Yeah. That you, fish didn't come out. You you like dive super slowly off the diving board, and then like. As you jump back up out of the water, you're like, Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I'm gonna miss yes. this one. I'm gonna miss this one. Oh, oh you got it. Oh! Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Dude. Nicely done. Thanks, man. And now, like, the waterness comes in. It, this is very strange. Yeah, seriously. And then it gets all, like, not scummy. Yeah. Or yeah. extra scummy. Maybe it's just soup. Maybe that's, like, chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I wouldn't know I'm a robot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even fucking. Wait, it's like soup, is, water. I don't is care. Mega Man completely robot? Yeah. I thought he was like half boy. No. Whoa. Yeah. But is it's he still capable of love robot. and emotions? Uh, no. That's oh. Mega Man X. Oh. This guy's also weak against quick boomerangs. Do it. Use the power of your Fuabaku. Yep. Ha yep. ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna punch you if I can move, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> sure wish I wasn't a vehicle. <laughs> Too many graphics. <laughs> That's right. I can just reel forward. I look amazing, but I'm practically useless. <laughs> <laughs> My mom always told me it was better to be self-aware. <laughs> yeah, better to look good than to be good. <laughs> Tip from my parents. They were terrible parents. <laughs> I didn't like them. They hit me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And, a, and a then dark, I hit back. It's a dark, abusive turn. <laughs> the giant guts from Dozer. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man, those things that those things that are on the floor uh, that you just destroyed. The Mets. Yeah, yeah. They look a little bit like. What are those suction cups that before, like, you turn them inside out and then you put them on the ground and then they're like, and they go flying up in the air? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Are, oh, man. I don't know what those are called. I don't know. Because, because suction cuppy yeah. things. What, they were from the time of, like, what the? Yeah, there's there's no floor in some of these parts. Really? Yeah. And they look, it looks exactly the same? Yeah. Oh. You just have to, um. That's some classic Nintendo dickatry. Bubble Oh, you can send that out as like the canary in the yeah. cave. Does, does that? Yeah, oh no, is. shit! Do people even know what that means, canary in the cave? Uh, I do. Yeah. But I don't know how many other people do. Uh, back in mining times, which I guess is still <laughs> now, they still have miners, but oh, I'm yeah. sure they have another way to do this now. But in order to find out if a mine was like dangerous or poisonous, or if the air was like. Unbreathable. Yeah, unbreathable. They'd send a canary, like, 
down the cave to like fly down to explore it. And if the canary fucking died, <laughs> they didn't go and mine gems from there. Seems kind of dickish <laughs> as far what? as the oh, canary. Oh, was, was that it? I always thought that. Oh man, I guess. Wow, I guess it is such an old relic that I don't even know the truth to it. I, I always thought that the canary would like go fucking crazy. Oh. It's possible. Like, they just bring it down, and, like, once it smells fucking whatever gas, it's just like... And everyone's like, alright, alright, alright. It could be. Shit. Balls. <laughs> the one time that it's like, no, don't go down fast. Yeah, exactly. That's bad. Cling to you this ladder, <laughs> as if your life depends on it, because it does. <laughs> no warning or anything, just, and, just trust us. And who built that ladder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who built any of this? Yeah. For what practical purpose? I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's spend billions of dollars to make this robot who isn't even a dude. Let's make a floor of spikes. <laughs> just have a really fucking hard time. Yeah, totally. It, it, God damn it. It just... <laughs> what? No, I just... I had... You, know, you ever have too many thoughts at once and they bottleneck in your <laughs> yes. brain? And then you're like... Argh! You can't say anything. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then... Is that what just happened? That's totally what just happened. I almost had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I've had three since we started playing this, <laughs> Same, so... I just playing Mega Man? It's okay. You're doing amazing, dude. You're gonna finish it. I hope so. Yeah. I, uh... I thought this might be a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out situation where we're just like, Ah, sorry! <laughs> Beyond our capabilities. Yeah, Tyson's way too fucking hard. He so really is. Even. He really is. It's weird, though, how you... You got so far at the beginning, like, the first time you fought him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because there's that initial, like, wave of, like full knockout punches he does at all times where like e even touching you you're done and uh but if you can survive that then you can last a little bit longer but getting past that is just such a bitch and then i lose anyway so why waste people's time <laughs> <laughs> what even i get oh oh next time on game grumps uh aaron's gonna figure this out because we all believe in him right uh, i already figured it out oh never mind you did it! Welcome back to Whose Line Is It Anyway, starring me and... Uh, who else? Ryan Stiles. <laughs> <laughs> Colin went home early. Yeah. <laughs> he was Aaron, like, ah, I'm old. Aaron and tall, skinny, white Wayne Brady. That's me. <laughs> you know they're bringing it back. Really? Yeah, the original cast. That's a great show. I, dude, I fucking adore it. it it's so it's so interesting now, because, like, uh, when Whose Line Is It Anyway first came out, like... It was a real novelty, and people didn't really know about improv comedy. And now, like, um, now there's whole schools around of improv comedy in, like, big cities like L.A. and New York and Chicago. And there's whole, like, subcultures. Of, like, that's where Ninja Brian and I, like, the, the comedy school we came up through was Upright Citizens Brigade. That's where we met uh, in New York. And um, I, bet, I bet the show is going to be way more popular now just because people respect good improv so much more. Oh, yeah. Because it's fucking hard as shit to do. Not improv, good improv. <laughs> like, 2% of all of it is good. Everything yeah, else is a hot pile of awfulness. It's pretty tough to... It's just pretty tough. Yeah. And it's weird, it's one of those things where, like... Uh... You're improving every moment of your life, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah. you never know what anyone else is gonna say in a conversation. But, as soon as there's the pressure to do it, you're suddenly like, Phew! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, like, seize up. It's I, I must be funny. This is an impossible mind puzzle. Shit, I'm gonna die. Oh! Nicely done. All right. I Can you blow them up? Can... Yeah, yeah. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, I think you actually need the crash bombs to... Uh, uh, I forgot. There's some, like, catch to this boss. Like, you need just the right amount of crash bombs, and if you don't have them, then you're fucked forever. Whoa. Yeah. Great. Yep. How many do you have, do you know? Uh, well, I have enough. Nice. To break the barriers, at least. Yes. But, as far as to beat them, I don't know. But I gotta do this fucking garbage again. Well, yeah, man, don't worry. ride along on my little fucking roller coaster. You got the power of the FWABQ on your side. <laughs> my little private roller coaster. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm having a great time. I wish I could share this with somebody. Oh, God. Uh, I'm still recovering from the X2. Oh, dude. That was... It, it makes you see God. It, <laughs> and God is terrifying. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, the X2 is uh, the craziest roller coaster at Six Flags Magic Kingdom uh, near Los Angeles. And Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain, that's what I meant. Magic Kingdom is Disney. Oh, right, sorry. Which I've still <laughs> never been to. Oh, oh my God. So sad. Damn. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. Oh, you but, so um, will. So, uh... 
my buddies uh, took me to um, Magic Mountain for the first time, and I'm scared of roller coasters because they're terrifying. And they were like, uh, suck it up, you fucking snurd burglar. And I was like, all right, fine, I'll do one. I'll do one. And they were like, sure thing. We'll pick an easy one for you. And they... <laughs> You dicks. They picked X2, which is the most terrifying fucking... It goes 85 miles an hour, backwards, upside down. It shoots fire! It shoots fire! It's the scariest coaster I've ever been on. Oh. Like, I've been on some of the scariest coasters of all time, and like... Ah, fuck! Sorry. So, <laughs> this is a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, dude, are you okay? I'm sorry. Got for those of you who can't see it at home, Aaron has a legitimately <laughs> sad face on right now. It's okay, I got all my I got all my shit back. Okay, tons yeah. of flabbecue. <laughs> uh, What's the other screen say? It's just like maybe a one two three. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Funk one two three. <laughs> oh, it's got the fuck my something. <laughs> fuck my character. Fuck my character. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's you like playing a fucking video game and it's like. Dude, I, oh, isn't it the worst when, like, you spend so much time making a custom character in, like, a new game? Right. You know? And it's, like, it's like three hours, and you're just like, ah, oh, it looks great! And then you, like, start playing, and, and then... You, you hate the you, game? You turn it off, and then you turn it back on, like, like you know, the next day or right. so. And then it's, you realize how fucking ugly it is. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no! Damn it! <laughs> yeah, because by, by the third hour of character creation, you're insane. And, like, you don't know what's good for you anymore. <laughs> I completely agree. But that was my favorite thing about a lot of those games. Like, role-playing games, I loved creating characters. So, like, I played a lot of Dungeons & Dragons uh, instead of dating girls when I was younger. Mm. And, uh, like... No shit. Yeah, yeah hard to believe. <laughs> and so, like, uh, a lot of my friends felt the same way. We just loved creating characters. So we'd get together, and like six hours would be like spent towards character creation, and then everything else. <laughs> and then you'd just be like, "Time to play!" Like, yeah. oh no! Oh man! <sighs> uh, I, like, I, I ate some pretzels, and I'm pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling a little winded. I was crunching like a little bit harder than I usually do. <laughs> like, I think I'm they, done. They were sourdough, so I had to put extra. Mm, Oh, that's true. Sourdough pretzels. Sourdough pretzels oh, take a little bit it. extra out of you. Ugh. What is? What is? Uh, there's something recently that did it to me. I think it. I think it might have been something like sourdough pretzels. What food that exhausted you? Yes. Food <laughs> that just like it like hurts your jaw after you're done with it. Excuse me. Skittle burp. It's fine. Um, I. What could it have been? Oh God, I don't remember. It was something. I think it was some kind of bread. Sometimes I chew gum, uh, for like an hour and a half. And then like it's it's lost the flavor for an hour and you're just chewing rubber. Yeah. And you're you get like locked jaw and you're yeah. like, Whoa, how did it come to this? You get that like pain in your temples. Yeah. And you're As just like mm -hmm. Especially if it's something like fruit stripe gum, which has amazing flavor for like five seconds. Or juicy fruit. Where oh, you're just yeah. like, ah, oh, and you and you're just hanging in there when the flavor goes, like, it'll get better. <laughs> I, I remember the good times. No, with those you'd always just like add more until you just had this fucking wad that was like impossible. <laughs> it was like one chew. Um choo chew. Did you <laughs> Did you ever um And when you when it, and when you'd spit it out, you just had to make a noise. There was like no other way to spit it out. It was like it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you um ever when you had something that lost the flavor quickly like that, you'd like take it out after it got to like half flavor status, and then you'd like put it somewhere safe, and then you'd go on to the next piece of gum, and then at the very end you'd put like all the old ones in your mouth, and you'd eat like the whole pack, and you'd be like, ah, it's an entire package of flavor. <laughs> I, like, you know what, as I was telling that story, I was like, there's no one, there's no way fucking anyone else does that with me. <laughs> I think I've, like, maybe once, but not, like, with the intention of that particular... Yeah, you're just like, I guess it came to this, and it's lying around, so we'll experiment. Okay, Ooh, this here is we go again. Fucking, yeah. When you, when you come back to this spot, they're still gone. Like, the walls are still gone. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah so. just do as much damage as you can. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one straight down has too much of a beeline on you. I know, it's bullshit, man. This game's <laughs> fucking bullshit. Yeah. It's so sick of this garbage. This game is so difficult slash normal in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> this game is Japanese hard. <laughs> this isn't fucking... 
<laughs> American hard. Yeah. It's kind of like how um, with food, like Spanish hot and Japanese hot are so different. Oh, yeah. Like salsa and wasabi. But so, then there's like styles too. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Thai hot is not oh. the same as Spanish hot. Thai hot is like hot, but there's like peanut sauce in there for some reason. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, wah! Thai hot is like they made the recipe with the express intent of your snot being part of the fucking <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> like you like, were, oh, this gets better over time. Like, yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Thai food because, like, you immediately, it, it's just, like, behind your eyes within, like, three seconds. And you're like, oh, the flames! They're in a place I can't get to! <laughs> <laughs> I want to douse it, but... <laughs> How? <laughs> oh, man. I remember a long time ago, there was, um, I think it was the... What was the the game show on Nickelodeon with Summer Sanders? Uh, Double Dare? No, 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 no. Summer no. Sanders. Yeah, the, the the gymnast swimmer. Oh, I was thinking Mark Summers. I'm sorry. It was it was like uh, oh, I don't remember what it was called. What, it, she she, can she you was she was a it? Um, it was like celebrity contestants. Okay. I don't. Oh God, I don't even remember. Celebrity Double Dare? No, it wasn't Double Dare. <laughs> it was called like it, it was called something. Anyway. There was like a kid, it came on and you had to guess like what their hidden talent was. I think oh. it might have just been called Hidden Talent. Oh, okay. Um, and uh... It's a random thing to guess. Yeah. One of the kids was like an inventor and he was like, I invented a fork with a spray bottle on it! What? So you put milk in it and then you spray it in your mouth and it makes food not hot! <laughs> it's what? like, that is the most impractical! <laughs> Yeah, that is insane! It would get so gross and stinky and rotten, and then you'd have to refill it with milk every time when you could just have a glass of milk. Oh, uh, yeah. Excellent point. Excellent point! Plus it's just this giant cumbersome fork with like a pod of liquid attached to it. I wish you'd been like in the, uh... The audience? Yeah, in the audience as a kid, so, you, so like when that kid like all proudly announces what he did, you can just be like, You fucking suck! <laughs> Shut! <laughs> Stupid asshole! Oh my god. Oh my Damn god. It. They shoot right through walls. It's ridiculous. It's not even fair. But at least you're, you're taking out all the walls now. Yeah. Shit. I don't even know if I have another life. Oh, I do. Okay. Oh, cool. So I just gotta figure out what weapon I need now. Heat man? Ooh. No. I like your ketchup mustard color scheme. Never yeah. mind. No. No. Damn it! <laughs> I hate everything! I hate you! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, not you. Oh, okay, thank you. I was clearly pointing at the game. All oh, right. To all those people at home. <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps, Aaron channels his hate into victory! Okay, fine. Yeah, why not? All right, welcome. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and a new record is set. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Breaking new grounds in failure. <laughs> Game Grumps 2013. Oh, oh my god, boy, that was oh hilarious. Boy. What do you think the actual time of that was? Like, uh, it was like three seconds. It was less than, yeah, possibly even less. <laughs> I well, th welcome to the game. <laughs> that was not planned by any means. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, right. it's fine. I gotta, I gotta, so I looked up how to beat this motherfucker, and you do have to use crash bombs on both parts. That's brutal. So, I have to... <laughs> <laughs> so I just have to harvest crash bombs from this impenetrable wall of death spikes. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker! You give me the fucking tiny life. The biggest insult. Thanks, dick. Uh, yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? Come on! That's absurd. Jesus is, Christ! Oh my god! Is this the only place you can do it? Yeah, well, I mean, this is the easiest place to I do it. I guess it's the safest. Jesus Christ! <laughs> give me a Jesus break! Oh, there you go. You. That's so what I'm oh talking about. Oh my god. Whew. <laughs> uh, I like... I like that the crash bombs are such a pleasant color in the in the palette. It's like a uh, like salmon. Yeah. <laughs> let me cause great destruction, but first let me turn sherbet orange. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want a cream sickle? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Super delicious. <laughs> It'll remind you of your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever um 
I know you're not a, a huge football fan, but do, do you remember the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from the 80s? Oh, and the of 90s? Yeah, and their creamsicle-colored jerseys? <laughs> oh, that was like the least intimidating sports uniform in the history of sports. <laughs> sports. I love sports! Oh my god, you know what we sound like? What? Have you ever seen um, the video for Cake Farts? <laughs> yes! You know what I like the most? Cake, cake farts. farts. <laughs> Let's get this done. <laughs> Let's get this done. <laughs> like it's a fucking task and somebody's got to take yeah. care of it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. <laughs> Kick there. Did she really have like a Chicago, Minnesota accent? Oh, she to that was what struck me the most about it. <laughs> apart from the cake farts. <laughs> you know what I like the most? What's that? Cake farts. You know what I like the most? <laughs> Kick fierce. You sound a bit like uh uh when Cookie Masterson does the <laughs> the puppet and yeah. you don't know Jack. Yeah. I'm the dunny. <laughs> Who's the dunny now? No, like if you, if if you were to spell it out, I believe it would be C E E K <laughs> space F A H R T Z. Fair. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> With, with that fucking slightly unsure enunciation yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, like, like the hesitation <laughs> built in. Fiert. Fiert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's amazing that in a, a video about a girl sitting bottomless on a cake and farting, that that's not the weirdest thing about the video. <laughs> Like, that's not the takeaway. Oh, boy. <laughs> the, the, the worst thing about that, though, was that it came during Two Girls, One Cup. Oh, is it that and, old? And so, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's like that time. I must have got introduced to it later. So... So its glory was overshadowed? Exactly! Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, and, and it would, like, it would always remind me, too, like, uh... Two Girls, One Cup always reminded me of Cake Farts. Yeah, the good times. So I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'd be like... No, 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 check this one out, and then they're like, uh... I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything's a de-heightening from Cake, uh, from Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> Which I have still... SHIT! No, it's fine. Is, is, is that wasted fine? a crash bomb. I think it's not fine. Oh, no! I might, I might have to... Oh, God. I bet they let you get away with one. I don't know. No? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Let's see how, how it goes. Let's see if they're gonna cake fart all over your dreams. Oh no! Okay, I do have one more. Cool. Alright, we good. And cake fart! Motherfucker! <laughs> Motherfucker! Yeah. Take my crack ball! Woo! Bitch! I have still never Salmon seen- Salmon colored! Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gentle tangerine sunsets! <laughs> the color of something tasty! <laughs> and cold! <laughs> <laughs> There's a hell of anything that color's gonna be warm! I'll be goddamned! <laughs> no, tropical Skittles! Everything with me over always comes back to Skittles. Yeah. Yeah. Skittles are quite fucking Oh no, delicious. do you have to cycle through all these guys mm -hmm. again? But I have all their weaknesses now. Oh, so. Mega Man. <laughs> oh, brutal. Mega Man. You are brutal! Fucking Heat Man! <laughs> Damn it! Is that bad? It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. -ish. It's good. It's good. Uh. <laughs> Chill out with the. Uh. I'm sorry. It's, it's all like I eat so many Skittles when we grump. <laughs> like I might die. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so I think years are being taken off my life. Each Skittle is like a half a second. Yeah. Oh no. If that's true, I will be done by the next three Mega Man episodes. <laughs> Dude, nice. Yeah. Airman Gao Taos and I. God, whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Who gives a shit anyway? <gasps> Alright, here we go. Atomic fire. No, it's Airman! Oh, no! <laughs> I forgot they're by their fucking names and not their other names. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is confusing. <laughs> I forgot they were by their names and not their names. Damn it! I hate everything! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, God! Oh, God! Does that mean I have to do the fucking level before it I again? Can't, or, I can't or, imagine or, that's what that means. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you, okay, Lord. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Let me take out Woodman first, cause yeah. I don't know. He's just, clearly a problem. I've got a vengeance situation <laughs> going on. Look at you standing with your arms out, like, come on, motherfucker. Yeah, it's weird because like, 
You see it here, and then they use that same pose, and they like 3 d fight it in the yeah. new Smash Brothers. Yeah. And it just looks silly. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's, an, it's, it's such a funny gangster like pose, like when you're standing still, and then as soon as you jump, you're like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> well, it's weird too, because like, he... He's not looking directly ahead. He's like kind of looking a little bit off to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like got a slight gangster lean. How how does that work? I don't know. So they, they did that in, in Smash Brothers. They they made him look a little bit to the side. Oh. So he just looks shifty eyed and, and silly. <laughs> he's suspicious of everybody. He, yeah. He he's he's a robot that uh, excels in peripheral vision. <laughs> <laughs> That's my power. That's <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are like a way wider lens than your yeah. fucking human eyes. I can't see shit straight forward. <laughs> <laughs> But if you are standing 45 degrees to my left, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> watch the fuck out! <laughs> you know, you know, your peripheral vision is better at night. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Have you ever, have you ever like tried to look directly at a star at night and then it just kind of disappears? I never really so you, thought about it. So you kind of have to look a little bit to the side to see it. I'm gonna try that tonight mm -hmm. with your awesome telescope. Uh, um, you mean my binoculars? Oh yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> the complete opposite of the telescope. <laughs> I just remember looking through something <laughs> at stars at one point in your yard. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it has to do with like hunting, hunter instincts, because like you're more likely to get attacked at night. That's crazy. So you can like see to the side of you. There's all sorts of things like that. Like um, if you if you open your mouth slightly, like you can hear better, which what? is why yeah, which is why like a lot of like Native Americans when they were hunting and like listening to the ground to see how close like the herd that they were hunting was, they would keep their mouths open slightly. So uh -huh. like. Something just because ear, nose, and throat are all connected. So like, wow. if you close off one, you're closing them all off a little bit. I want to, I want to, just show you that I'm, I'm using his weapon. Okay. Okay. Here, check this out. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dead. Whoa! <laughs> that guy, he should not be playing with those. Yeah. They are unsafe. <laughs> if one like drops out of his pocket and he like steps on it accidentally, like, ouch, ow, ow, ooh. By the way, you know what I just noticed? Uh huh. The fucking sound your saw makes is the exact sound of the, um, the elevator thing in Strider, which we will play at one point. Ooh, Strider. Y yeah, it's like- For the, for the mess, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that you were like, oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't wait to play it. That was one of my <laughs> favorites. I always loved that game. I loved it especially more because, like, I bought, like, the Japanese version in this weird Japanese market when I was a kid. And, really? like, yeah, like, it was this strange market, like, it was in California, actually, where, like, you could buy... The, the two things you could buy were, like, Octopus and, like, Nintendo games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those two go together like, like apples and, uh, uh George. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm George. <laughs> I really like apples. Yeah. You guys... You guys got any apples? <laughs> I'm usually in a good mood when I've got apples. <laughs> yeah. What, those pears? Get the fuck out of my face! Oh, next time on Game Grumps! More fucking Aaron annihilating shit. Wiley really teleport well system. Now. He set it up just for me so I could annihilate his fucking robots. Dude! Welcome back! Welcome back again! <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry, I got too excited. Welcome back to Gr- <laughs> I- oh, This is, is the is last guy, against, yeah? Yeah. Dr. Wiley? I think he's weak against quick boomerangs as well. Oh. Nope. Nope. Not. Oh god, <laughs> I don't know if I can beat him. Holy shit. Oh god, what is he weak against? I don't fucking know. Uh, metal blades, probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's doing things. Uh, I'm gonna die though. No, you're fine. <sighs> See? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't even have to be there now to experience the pain. You're yeah. way finer yeah. than you were before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. This, this is for real. This is it. This is fucking for real. This is for the whole bag of monkeys. Can you look up real quick how yep. to fucking beat all these forms? <laughs> Cause this is, this is the stuff where it's like, alright, we can't fuck around. Okay, okay. Good thing my iPhone has a 3% charge. <laughs> Perfect! Use those- use those 3% to fucking uh, help us out here. Okay. Oh god, I only have fucking- oh my god. Mega Jesus Man? <laughs> what if I'm just like a super slow typer? Mega <laughs> Man? Oh no, my Two. phone died. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Darn it! Okay, Mega Man 2 walkthrough. Wily. Dr. Wily, yep. Uh... You're doing great! <laughs> See? Oh, it's loading super slow. Damn your internet! 
Oh, there you go. Got uh, it. Game over. He's got this shit. Uh, and I gotta fucking duck the m bullshit under here. Like, what? 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 Come on! Yeah, dude. Wow, he's a piece of shit. I'm trying. Why didn't he just do that from the beginning? There's like 45 walkthroughs here. Gosh. Well, then select the one that's the best, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Fucking stupid jackass. Oh my god! Now, <laughs> what? What? Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it's like 99% like, like of Mega Man is cool, and then on the last possible moment, like our friendship gets torn apart. <laughs> no, I hate you! <laughs> um the sentient room. Why this attack ship? Okay, cool. It says use metal blades, yeah? Uh weakness, crash bombs and metal blades. Met uh crash bombs, okay. Yep. What's the second form? Alien Wily. Uh, flies in a figure eight pattern oh, around the room. Th th it was just lumped into one category. Oh, uh, what? Why? Oh, why there's attack ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. So okay. I guess it's crash bombs first, and then metal blades second. Really? Or both? Or, or both? Both are weaknesses. Okay. Fuck. It's not even fair. Yeah, totally. They will. Yeah, eat it. Eat a fucking dick, you piece of shit, so airman, <laughs> bullshit ass. It says the second form where Wily gets uh, revealed. Uh, he sends lots of energy balls at Mega Man, and they're impossible to avoid. So you should just concentrate on attacking him. Uh, the capsule to the front of the ship to take him down. Metal blades work slightly better than the arm cannon, so use them to knock Wily down. Damn it! Cool. <laughs> this sucks. Hate game. <laughs> I'm bad at this. I'm bad at video games. No, you're fine. You're just not Japanese. <laughs> that they're much at, is clear. <laughs> they're, at a, they're at a different level that we can't Damn comprehend. It. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, dude. I'm gonna fucking die. No, no, it's just it's just leaves. It's just happy leaves. I wish they'd leave me alone. Oh, nicely done. Damn it! I hate puns. I just hate in general. Oh. <laughs> I'm capable of that emotion, so I do it often. Cool. Let it out, man. <laughs> I'm having a super you know, this is, good time. This is therapeutic for me. I know, I know. Every time you yell at me, I eat comfort Skittles, so I, like, it's just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that, like, from a time long past? Yeah. Like, don't remind me of being a child. <laughs> Daddy, no! Skittles. <laughs> Skittles, my, the Skittles are a trigger for you. You just my, eat them and it's like, oh, no! <laughs> my dad actually, like, uh, he's an awesome dude, but, like, he, uh, he's Israeli and he's kind of a wacky guy, and, like, he would sometimes, uh, like, make mistakes parenting me, you know? Just, mm. like, just, like, like, take me to a scary movie and then I'd be traumatized. And then he would take me to, like, for pancakes to make me feel better. Uh -huh. Always. So, like, pancakes have become synonymous with, like, ah, I can't deal with life, I need pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Like, even now? Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Fucking however many years later. It's That's crazy. crazy. It's, it's weird. I hop. Special place in my heart. <laughs> we go there all the fucking time. Yeah, just cry into a short stack of buttermilk pancakes. <laughs> well, what if they're like a new pancake? Like, if it's, is that is that? Well, I I they're like Cinestax. Yeah, or, but or like I need to order from the kids menu. Like, give me the funny face, the one that's the face with the chocolate chips and the whipped cream, <laughs> the bananas for and, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, god, do they still serve that? Oh, totally, dude. Yeah, that was amazing. The uh, I, I every single time I go there, I'm like, will they give me a kids thing yeah, at 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah. if I ask? Does it matter that I'm in my mid 20s and, <laughs> <laughs> and it's after 3 a.m. Because <laughs> I feel like a child today. No, 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 no. I feel like a child. I'm scared. <laughs> Can That's I have a funny face pancake? I am afraid of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of anything that doesn't have a funny face on it. <laughs> so right now you're terrifying me. Yeah. Can you get a little more smiley? <laughs> can you can you smile it up a little? Just give me some more smiles. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> eyes dilate. <laughs> <laughs> give me the smiles! <laughs> Nicely fucking done, it's Aaron. Just two shots. Holy shit. Yeah. It's it's it, it's a running gag. That he's weak against himself. Oh yeah. Flash man is just a fucking idiot. Like, Flash! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna die in two seconds! He's the greatest of the universe! <laughs> wow, wow, now, now, now! Alright, I guess I'm using Crash Bam. Do it! Crash Bam. Harness the power of Sherbert! I got full health, so. Poor Sorbet. Yeah, dude, you can do it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, maybe I should. Oh, that's what I should do. Meter it out? Yeah. yeah. Cause that'll. It's harder to avoid the other one. Fucker! Damn it! 
Oh, I'm gonna die in like fucking one hit. Wow. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Fuck it all. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need, like, can you oh, get, like, an energy God, capsule? No, like? uh, there's nowhere to get it. Oh, no. And I'm, like, out of both. Of oh, what no. Weak against. Uh, what will become of this? This is hard, man. Yeah. Also, hard man is from Mega Man 3. <laughs> hard man. That's, that seems like something yeah, else. I think I got a style. Oh, I think cool. I got a style. You got, yeah. He... So I should just use the, this for now so I can. Okay. There you go. And it says, just don't worry about the hits, just fucking concentrate on him. Just wail on his ass. I'm out. Maybe the saw blades? I'm, I'm out of that too. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So I'm Perfect just, scenario! Just on my own. I, uh... Shit. Damn it! Wow! Motherfuck! Motherfuck Wily! <laughs> Wily's a piece of shit! Wily needs to suck a dick! <laughs> Go home! <laughs> <laughs> okay! I'm just gonna go straight to Wiley. Speed up! N do it! Okay. Now that's a fucking baseline. <laughs> How do your fingers even move that fast? <laughs> <laughs> And is smoking. Alright. Here we go. Welcome back! Oh god! Hey, okay! Aaron did great! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> it's real nice of you to say! Still doing it! Still doing it! Alright, here we go, here we go. Fucking crap. Shoot that fuck! With all manners of things. Fuck. Yeah. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Suck a fat dick! Okay. Suck a big fat dick! Bubble bubble lead is the next weakness. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. Mm. Oh. Thank you for turning into Michael Jackson for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am white. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, it's I love the fucking because just the way that was framed, you were just like. <laughs> I am white. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, la later, Michael Jackson, I could do an amazing this shit, visual like, impression yeah, of this shit does so much damage. Oh my god, and it's very hard to avoid. Nintendo definitely taught you uh, the dangers of having disgusting shit drip on you. Yeah. That was in a lot of games. It was in Batman. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh, this. Yeah, Contra had a bunch of that. Did uh, it? I think so. Drippy. Or maybe just shit falling from the ceiling. Drippy gross. <laughs> I'm an alien! Oh my god! Yeah. Was, was that always the case? Oh yeah, Dr. Wily's always been an alien. What? Yeah, dude. Isn't that fucked up? Oh my god! I just... My mind is exploding with new knowledge! He's a fucking alien, dude. Isn't that fucked up? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is, so that's his true form? That's his true form, man. Oh yeah. my gosh! <laughs> I, I, it's, he's got little breathy ribs. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got like gill. He's got a gill situation. Yeah. He looks like. Oh, God. That looks like the rib cage of. Did you ever watch Inhumanoids when you were a kid? Oh, dude, that show is. It was scary. Yeah, it's like insanely fuck. violent and yes. gross. Inhumanoids, the evil that lies within. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the 80s theme songs are just fucking. They're, they're like. A, they're yeah. written to be catchy. Yeah. B, they are fucking catchy. Yeah. And C, you heard it every time you watched it. Yeah. So. so Inhumanoids was about like these three hell creatures from hell that get woken up by some kind of thing, and then they just attack. And one of the creatures is this nightmarish dinosaur guy. I think his name is Decompose. Boom, 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 and, boom, boom. Oh, nicely done. Oh, just kidding. It's a hologram. Son of a bitch. Ah. I gotcha! You totally got me! Mm. Oh, so this whole thing I'm about to go into is moot. Oh yep. well. Um, so go about Decomposer? Oh yeah, Decompose was the name of the scary dinosaur with his ribcage showing. And he could trap people in his ribcage. Ew. It was gross. And I can't remember if it was him or another guy, but like... Wait, is this the end of the game? Mm -hmm. Did you beat it? Dude, I totally beat it. Holy shit! Yep. Alright, I'll finish this super fast. Basically, he could murder you by, like, touching you while you were asleep and turning you into a fucking horrifying zombie. So I was terrified to go to sleep from the ages of 7 to 14. Oh my god. <laughs> that fucking show. Jesus Christ. But wait, let's enjoy this ending, because yeah. you did it. Walk through the seasons. 
First, it's fall to represent the all the falls you've had throughout the, the game, oh. the experience. Now we're in now winter. It's winter. To to you represent how cold and bitter you are about fucking Dexter Wiley being an asshole. Now, spring, where there were some enemies that had springs in them. Yeah, yeah, those little Roombas. Fuck them. Now? And now the rain of uh, summer? I guess it's summer. I guess you're living in Florida. Uh, it's, uh, the... But you're still in the exact same place. Summer. Hmm. My peripheral vision. <laughs> my peripheral vision's telling me. <laughs> Holy shit, there's a fucking picture of a world. Whoa, whoa. Oh my what God. What happened? What happened? Is that like symbolic? I don't know. Was it did all you, a dream? Did you turn into a helmet? What happened? Did you leave? Did you leave your fighting life behind? Is that what that signifies? And why in a countryside? Boy, that went wildly unexplained. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. The game starts out in like this fucking future city. Yep. And then suddenly... You go to the past, like a Japanese past. What the fuck? Wait, can, can we just call out how much uh, we enjoy this fucking super relaxing bass line? <laughs> like your fucking hand would explode if you ever tried to play that. Oh my god, yeah. I, you just imagine fucking, like, Victor Wooten, like... <laughs> <laughs> just like, he can't even move. Oh, t Tomu. Wait, what does it mean that these guys... How did these guys play okay, the parts so, of them? Okay, here we go. Every Mega Man game past the first Mega Man game, uh -huh. every Robot Master was designed by a fan. Oh, stop. Yeah. Uh, That's so cool. I think it was Famitsu had a contest where you come in, you, you'd submit your drawing, and, like, you send it in. Oh. KG Inafune, the creator, would, like, redesign it a little bit, right, but right. it would mostly stay true. Um, and the only time they ever brought it to America was Mega Man 6. No shit. And Nightman was made by a Canadian, oh. and uh, Windman was made by an American. No shit. Yeah. The, is, that, is that why the, the enemies got progressively more ridiculous as time went on? Yeah. Like like generations of Pokemon and stuff? It's, it's funny because there's... It was in Nintendo Power where they did the contest here, mm -hmm. and they showed some of the, like, submissions, and some of them were just like, What? what? One of them was like, Terror Teddy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even follow the I've fucking got formula. It. Excuse me, Takatsugu Waka Kabayashi. Can we get some more syllables in your name? Like <laughs> and Fishman? Fish Take You're a lesson right. from Fishman. <laughs> oh man, great, great game, Capcom. You Thanks. did it. Presented by Capcom USA. You did it. Fuck Capcom of Japan. They don't know shit. Yeah, they, oh, what? Uh, oh, no, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Is Kabayashi in here? Arigato. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching Mega Man's. Uh, if you catch this from not seeing the front, go to the first episode. Yeah, check out the first it's episode like, and, and watch Aaron watch as he thing. effortlessly glides through the entire game with no problems whatsoever. <laughs> Dude, Heat Man stage. What a breeze. Nailed it. <laughs> Later. See ya. Also, go fuck yourself. <laughs>